Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. With me, I have two individuals who are here to talk about the Parking Technical Advisory Group, and we're going to call it PTAG for just a shortened purpose here. So please join me in welcoming Mr. Joe Lauren. You are the co chair of PTAG, Parking Technical Advisory Group. Welcome to City Line. Thank you. Great to have you in the house. And this man who I spend uh, time with once a month, uh, Mr. Steph Farber, or once every 90 days. You are the co-chair of the Parking Technical Advisory Group, and you also uh, are well known for your beautiful jewelry store downtown, Leroy Jewelers. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. Good to have you in, on City Line in the house here. So, Mr. Joe, oh my gosh, who knew that we had a Parking Technical Advisory Group, um, and who is it? Well, we are, uh, we are a group of citizen stakeholders who are interested in parking. Yeah. So we come from a variety of different uh, industries. Like you mentioned, Steph's a jeweler. I'm a lawyer. We're both downtown people. We have people from the library. We have people from the court system. We have people, well, we have the UWT's parking uh, services person as part of our group. Um, we have community activists, we have, I'm going to miss somebody and feel That's real okay. bad about it, but uh, um, we have another business owner. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just a bunch of, like I say, citizen stakeholders who are interested in, in, in something that can seem boring, but uh, is important. Yeah. Okay. So we have a, a video we're going to run here um, as you talk over and answer the question, so what does PTAG do? Okay. Yeah. PTAG. We, um, uh, well, as you said, we're a, a technical advisory group. So basically we exist to um, talk about parking policy, make recommendations to the city manager, which ultimately um, goes to the city council. We, uh, we try to set policy and manage uh, the city's parking system, which is on-street parking and the uh, garages and, and off-street lots that the city owns. So that's what we do. We try to make our parking system as effective and as efficient as it can be. I love that. So that so when we talk about the role in the parking system, Steph, what would you add to that that Joe just said? The, um, the, streets, the, the um, streets and curbside is a public um, is owned by the public, mm -hmm. is owned by the city. But there are a lot of competing interests who want to use those, those parking spots. And sometimes it's pretty obvious that this is a residential area, it needs to be used for residences, and this is a business area, and it needs to be used for the benefit of the, not for the benefit of the businesses, for the benefit of the, um, for the clients, customers, visitors, in the, in the downtown in particular. Um, so how, our job is to find a way to um, work with the competing interests in mm. those areas. Um, I said it's easy in some areas that this is a residential area. People who live there should probably get a chance to park there. There are some areas where there are residential areas and business areas that are, that are in the same area. And then yes. how, do you, how do you balance the needs of those? And that's, that's the kind of work that we... Wow. We do. Okay, because, you know, we, we uh, pride ourselves in mixed use. Mm -hmm. um, that has been identified as something that keeps a community vibrant and growing in certain areas. Um, but then when you have those competing interests and one interest says, this is a, a fragrant misuse mm -hmm. of the parking and the curb and the street, it sounds like that's where this committee steps in. Yep. Yes. Um, trying to find trying to find a way to balance the interests. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. That's boy. That's a tough one. How do you become a member of PTAG, Joe? Well, it's an application. Mm -hmm. um, it's really not hard. No parking tickets, <laughs> research, anything like that. No. Okay. No. Good. It's. Uh, it's. It's. We, we welcome people. We, quite frankly, are a place where we could use people. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested, we'd love to have you apply. Uh, you can go to cityoftacoma.org backslash PTAG, P-T-A-G, 
or just go to the city's website and put parking in the search, you'll mm -hmm. find us. We have our own little web page there and uh, there's an application that's, that's attached to our web page. Question for both of you. What inspired you to become members of PTAG? Joe. Well, in 2000, early 2012, January 2012, my partners and I bought an historic building downtown. We owned the building right next to the old city hall, right across yes. the street from McMinimins. Okay. Yeah. Home of, home of our law offices, among other things. Yes. It's the home of Shameless Plug, Pacific Brewing and Malting. Try it out. It's a great place. Um, <laughs> Way to but go. Anyway, we bought that building. Um, we knew McMenamins. We knew they bought their building. The old city hall is there. So it was kind of a ghost town, but we knew that, you know, real soon it was be mm -hmm. going to become a boom town. And I just thought, you know, this is really a good time for me to, to hop into that and see if I can help because, again, we knew that our little corner of the world there was going to go from ghost town to boom town. And, and it has. And it has. And parking was going to be an issue. An issue. Yeah. So I wanted to help. Well, I wish that everybody had that spirit of I want yeah. to be a part of the solution, not stand back and just observe the problem. What about you, Steph? Well, I should, I, I want to preface this by saying Joe has been a marvelous addition and really has been part of the solution. Steph is so kind. I have, I have been part of, um, the conversation about parking in, down, in Tacoma since, I think, Ezra Meeker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did they have cars back then? Yeah, they, they parked we, covered wagons. We were parking covered, covered wagons. Wagon. Oxen, <laughs> you have no idea how much problems that was. They, they, they brought. Um, traditionally, or up till a few years ago, when the city budget got out of whack, when they needed to bring in more cash in order to balance the books, uh, very often they would do it by uh, by raising parking fees, parking yes. fines. Um, having that, and that had nothing to do with how the, how um, how people were using the streets or how people were parking. Um, we got I got involved because um, because this organization was just forming with the idea that stakeholders would have a voice would. The, for two reasons. One is stakeholders would have a voice in what kind of policies the city would come up with. The second was our insistence that whatever money came, came into the system through parking fees and through, uh, through, through fines would not go into the city budget. It would stay within the system and pay for the system. Excellent. Which would mean that just, it, which would keep which would allow us to have rational parking fees. Um, what we do really is inventory control, the inventory being the spaces on the streets. Mm -hmm. And we have some tools that allow us, including pay, time stays, including uh, pay stations, that allows us to, um, to take care of that inventory in a fair, uh, equitable way. Yeah, well said. So in these last few minutes, Joe, let's talk about some of the upcoming projects that PTAG is working on. Well, the, um, probably the most current one is we recently um, recommended and, and the city manager and the city council adopted uh, a change to the time stays um, just, just up the hill from the UW Tacoma um, from 15th, or excuse me, yeah, from 15th to 21st and then from Market Street up to Tacoma Avenue. So that, that rectangle was unregulated parking. And when we have unregulated parking, what often happens is it gets filled with long-term parkers, all-day parkers. Um, in that little corner of the world, it can be students who are, who are there all day. Uh, in most corners of the world, it can be employees who, you know, need to park somewhere. Yes. And if it's unregulated and they can park there all day, they do. So. Um, we do studies, we do car counts, and you know we find areas that are overparked, and that was one of them. And um, in conjunction with our committee, in conjunction with UWT, um, we're putting three-hour time stays there, so that'll kind of free up parking for other people, so it's not all clogged up with with long-term parkers. Um, if you drive through there now, you'll see signs. I think they're bagged, but it's gonna. It's going to go online September 16th. All right. So yeah. just, just a couple weeks away here. Yeah. So. 
Outstanding. If you're used to parking there all day, it's, it's going to change. Heads up, because it up. means that more people can park there and therefore the businesses get more activity. It's a win-win for everybody, even though you may think, well, those poor students, yeah. but it's like, well, let's take the bus. Yeah. There's other ways to get around uh, as opposed to just parking your car. Yeah, there is. And there's other, there's other all-day parking yes. options um, as opposed to on-street. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you to both of you for uh, the time that you put into this committee. Uh, this committee uh, makes some crunchy decisions around a uh, difficult at best topic. Uh, when you say parking, people cringe. Um, <laughs> we are still far ahead of Seattle when it comes to that. Um, but I thank you for trying to bring some justice and some levity to a, uh, um, an inventory and a very precious commodity that we have as we balance out growing pains yeah. uh, in the city of Tacoma. So thank you to you yeah, and your team welcome. members so, so very much. I wish you new members, and let's get you back in here in about six months because we want to hear about how we're doing with parking, that new three-hour parking, and also how we are managing to keep our heads above water when it comes to construction. Deal? Deal. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All right. After these wonderful gentlemen exit the couch, I will welcome in Miss Kelly from the Goodwill. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.